All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I'm in the house with a Holt Bladeworks haptic here with me for a review. And we're gonna analyze the look, the sound, and the feel of this uh, uh, little guy. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. So let's get started uh, with this size. Uh, this is not a big knife. It's um, um, 7.5 inch long overall in length with a, a little bit uh, over a three inch in uh, cutting edge length. I would say 3.1 inch long uh, with the handle that is gonna be around a little bit like 4.1, 4.15 inch long. Um, in length, so it's not uh, it's not a big guy's uh, big guy. Uh, let's just check it uh, uh, up against some of the knives that you might be used to see in this channel. This is um, uh, Ontario Rat number one and Ontario Rat number two, and you're gonna see that the haptic is bigger than the Ontario Rat number two. So this can be smaller at time. This can be bigger, and so that's why you have that uh, in between size that it's so good. Uh, pretty much is the same size of the um, bug out from Benchmade and if you have a mini bug out that's your guy and you can see how it makes how it compares uh, up against the Holt and uh, if you're a Spyderco fan uh, this is gonna be your uh, paramilitary 2 or like para 3 and you're gonna notice that uh, uh, the haptic is pretty much a uh, just a smidge bigger than the Para 2, but look at the uh, handle to blade ratio of this guy over here. There's, it's just not uh, comparable with that. Um, maybe you are a Chris Reeve Knives uh, uh, owner or fan and you have like a large Sebenza 21 and look at that. It's a big boy compared to the Haptic. Or maybe you are a fan or like small of uh, smaller EDC knives and this is your Sebenza, small Sebenza 31 which is a little bit uh, um, smaller than your haptic. The uh, Shirogorov Neon, in this case is the R20, is just a little bit bigger than the haptic. And I really am finding this size over here my most preferred like to carry. I mean, I love to carry also like a 9 uh, F95. This is a slim nudist. But sometimes you just want something a little bit smaller. That's why I'm just uh, reaching for that. And... Uh, for example, like uh, this is a big boy. It's a custom knife factory Sukhoi 2.0, and you see that that's a, that's a big one. Like for example, it's a big one. Uh, this guy uh, also a custom knife factory. This is the Snafu 2.0. Um, if you want to see something a little bit smaller, also from custom knife factory, you have to approach this 520 uh, kind of size, which is reminding me the uh, haptic size, but uh, it's a little bit bigger than that and a little bit chubbier. So something that would be, for example, considered like a gentleman's carry would be like this guy, like Nandi, uh, also from Chris Reeve. So really, really uh, small size and uh, and weight. Uh, but uh, like, for example, if you compare it like up against Anarius from Koenig Knives, you can see that this is becoming like a big boy, something, uh, something pretty big and uh, just let me show you just one more because we shouldn't uh, uh, neglect this guy this is the uh, old blade work specter and uh, you can see it directly compared with the haptic how it's doing of course it's a bigger boy and uh, maybe we can uh, uh, discuss uh, the differences between these two guys in a separate video so just check also that out but you get the idea. This is not like a, a big knife whatsoever. And actually, probably this size is probably going to be my only gripe. Maybe one more. But um, uh, this is a really, really cool looking uh, knife. Look at the lines. Like this line is fantastic over here. And then there's some chamfer going on which gives like some nice 3D-ness to the overall profile of the knife. But look at just for a second of the mesmerizing work they did with these milling lines, with these wavy lines. Like you see, like over here, they are very, very fine and dense and widening up in the middle. And look at this little step and then it goes here and then changes direction transforming kind of like into a feather pattern and wavy around the pit. I mean, it's a really, really complex work. 
look at the look at the chamfer like on the side like widening up to the uh, towards the heel of the handle and then you've got this uh, uh, titanium backspacer with this milling also on the spine and then goes back really really nicely done of course centering backspacer just gorgeously finished look at this guys look at this detail here look at the tip of the blade i mean it's just crazy nicely chamfered all the way around on the inside on the outside it it's uh, it's really slick it's really really cool looking it's very compact and uh, the scale finish uh, is just uh, outstanding this is um, a nudist so it means there's no anodization going on in the handle in the screws it's just like a plain titanium but you can also find some uh, nicely colored uh, anodized uh, pivot and handle screws as well as the handle it's uh, themselves so uh, just look for the uh, your preferred uh, color com uh, combo and you're gonna be a happy person um, also you've got uh, some very very cool uh, 3d um, sorry internal skeletonization uh, you cannot appreciate how well it's made until you open this guy up and there's some crazy crazy look at that you can have a glimpse of the milling of the detail of the internal milling they've done to reduce the weight it's crazy clean and beautifully done guys really amazing job you have also this absolutely gorgeous finger groove which is gonna allocate your finger like super comfortably they did an amazing job like at angling uh, with the angles sorry of these uh, of this groove over here truly spectacular feels amazing in the hand very very nice job of course you don't have any standoffs only the backspacer here and there's no lanyard hole option uh, in this case and uh, so just forget about the lanyard hole um, you've got a fantastic blade centering backspacer and you see like this side is this part is fantastic so uh, the blade just beautifully follows the profile of the handle and just ends kind of like here so if you have a little bit longer fingers you you might be able even to snag the tip like that you see and then open it up but like that there's it's there's nothing going on you can just rub it it's not gonna do anything you have just to jam it in and just like you're gonna be able to do that but this detail here is uh amazing it's just like a the the example the perfect example of uh, handle space optimization i think in uh, in my opinion really really cool looking as well um overall look when closed is like look at that that's pretty clean lines are flowing nicely i would have probably just uh, uh done the blade like just to be flush with the handle that would have been like a, a perfectly clean design like really following this curve over here maybe that's i mean it's not a a criticism it's just maybe some uh suggestion probably like having something flush i don't know but it's looking good for sure you've got a nice flipper tab it's not uh, too crazy there's some jimping and chamfering only on one side so it's kind of like uh, um, encouraging you to do like a light switch and it's working fantastically but also like push button works uh, uh, as well as uh, this guy's not too pointy or sharp and that it's going to be working for both deployment methods uh, equally good so very very good job you have of course uh, uh, also a very simple construction one uh, t15 needed uh, torx bit needed for the pivot and uh, uh, t8 for the two handle screws uh, these are flush in the handle and the uh, pivot is protruding just a little bit but super simple construction pivot is not captive um, but anyways it's going to be very straightforward to take it down disassemble maintain it lube it and clean it up and uh, to keep it like snappy and buttery smooth like this so uh pretty straightforward job guys right there you have a, a very very interesting liner lock situation going on with the detent being integrated in the lock bar as you can 
see it's not a ball it's just like a kind of like a triangular like semi moon shape kind of thing which is almost um touching the tang of the blade there's just a tiny tiny bit of space and it's this one and it's creating even like as you can see from this movement like a th um a detent ball ramp which is uh, uh, embedded let's say in the detent it, the ramp is the detent so clever clever solution uh, right there there's no need for any uh, lock face insert because this is steel on steel so uh, good choice and uh, of course you have like a lock bar stabilizer this is a natural lock bar stabilizer which is the scale so uh, there's no uh, risk for you to be able to overextending the lock bar in this direction so you're pretty much good to go um, and then you have uh, some uh, nicely nicely done uh, pocket clip look at the look at this look at this clip so first of all this is clearly uh, the silhouette of a knife so uh, it's like this is the handle and this is the blade this is clearly a knife and it's super cool that they designed something that resembles a knife in a knife like in, they picked the, the pocket clip and it's fantastic with these uh, uh, milling lines like you see these ones are flowing and following the underneath uh, uh, lines but these guys on top are just uh, uh, running across therefore giving creating this 3d and contrasty effect uh, really really cool uh, this is a 3d mill titanium pocket clip it's tip up carry only hidden screws look at that beautiful clean lines uh, nicely angled at this on this side it's uh, it's not reversible uh, it's uh, just for right-handed people but look at the clip ramp just beautiful the clip tension fantastic it's it's gorgeous it works like a charm it's perfect i love this clip also what i love guys is the blade uh yeah look at this so uh this is uh, uh let's just check uh, uh first of all the uh thickness of the blade uh so let's do like this so the overall thickness uh, here at the spine is like uh, 3.4 millimeter and uh, it's 0 0.1345 uh, uh, inches so it's uh, it, it, it's a regular um, uh, thickness in stock uh, so nothing too crazy but what is fantastic is just sorry like this look at this 0.35 millimeters for the uh, thickness behind the edge and this is uh, in inches guys so uh, I mean it's uh, fantastic it's uh, the grind the hollow grind that is going on here is one of the best that I've seen absolutely symmetrical really really thin behind edge when you touch it it's like you feel that this is a crazy it's going to be a crazy slicer uh the stock is good look at the jimping very very nice uh, reminds me a little bit uh, the jimping uh, from a sebenza just the, the pattern the spacing and the depth a little bit and then you have some nice chamfering going on up to this point where there is a little raise so uh, this is going to be your thumb area basically but then you have a little raise and then it matches with the swedge going on up to this point and then you have this uh, pretty cool um, drop like very very gentle up to the tip and then you have a super gentle belly this is not like a straight edge it's like a very very gentle belly up to the sharpening choil and a hollow grind uh, stone washed uh, blade m390 steel which you can read right over here uh, and then you have chamfering around the flipper tab sterile looking blade which is gorgeous it's super clean it's absolutely symmetrical it's uh, the grind symmetry is perfect edge symmetry great it's uh, it's just so good the jimping also works well there's not much thumb ramp uh, but you have a very nice profile blade indeed if you check the sound of this guy It has a it has a deep clack, not loud when you close it. It's fantastic. The opening action, uh, the opening uh, no, uh, sound, is uh, a little bit inferior to the closing sound. The closing sound, guys, is like super pleasant. It's a little 
think it was super super mellow it's very very low in volume i love this uh, closing sound when you open it, it's also nice uh, but it, it feels a little bit dry compared to the this elegance here when you close it it's just fantastic nice and mellow i love this sound i mean i like also the opening one but not as much as the closing one um let's just ch check the weight of this uh, little fella here because there's some nice uh, uh internal skeletonization so that's gonna reduce the weight of the overall knife bringing it down to 3.69 ounces so it's uh it's a very very good weight uh and uh, there's no hot spots in the handle like when you squeeze the handle it just feels solid because it's a liner lock because the profile of the uh, clip has been designed so nicely you don't feel any sharp edges you have a, a very effective uh, lock release system so it's sticking out a little bit you see it's not like completely flush with the handle and uh, it's protruding also a little bit from the handle in the back so you feel that there's something sticking out there's no jimping going on just a little chamfering but it's super easy to disengage uh, uh, the lock bar there's no uh, fatigue introduced in the in your thumb so it works like a charm uh, you have uh, basically jimping going on only on the spine of the blade uh, so no jimping over here or in the back spacer so it feels uh, um, it doesn't feel like a smooth one because of the texturing going on on the handle it's gonna give you some nice and grippy sensation when you hold it and it's uh, it's not gonna be that slippery so it's pretty good uh, the grippy side is checked in my books uh, fit and finish of course is just outstanding for uh, it's a CNC knife so it's just perfect uh, all the alignments uh, there's no gaps uh, uh, everything is absolutely flush of course nothing is rattling when shaken uh, there is no blade play uh, no finger sore when you deploy it when you close it you can just do this like all day long and look at that it's guys you, you can play for a long time with this guy and have nothing on your on your fingers so, of course there's no lock stick in place is absolutely uh, good the lock it's uh, it's good to go you have a very very cool feel in the clip uh, uh, stiffness and nice uh, nice strength in these uh, in these uh, 3d mil titanium pocket clip a hundred percent of course this guy is running on caged uh, uh, bearings there's uh, hardened washers uh, underneath to separate the bearings from the titanium and that's why the deployment speed it is this snappy and that's why look at that guys this action here is uh fantastic i love it it's just uh gorgeous it's just uh, uh really fun to play with of course there's a guillotine effect uh, you see free fall as soon as you disengage the lock bar and this guy wants to chop your finger uh, so just be careful when you play with it because this guy is going to close really really fast great action detailed strength also nicely dialed in it's snappy look at that push button uh, locks um, um, light switch sorry they both work equally good because the detent is so good it's really really nice i mean guys this is a fantastic fantastic knife the only gripe i had i said is just the size because it's it feels a little bit small in the hand you see i, I prefer something like sticking out a little bit like you see here i have big hands so i understand it it's maybe uh, something like that i'm finding too small but it's the great uh, it's the greatest edc the perfect sorry edc size uh, if you want to bring something uh, for the summer in your pocket uh, it, that's the right size and also the weight is nicely contained uh, the look is absolutely gorgeous great elegant lines um ergos are fantastic closing sound is beautiful and man I, I can only recommend this little fella so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned